and I believe I should be live already. Let me check. Uh, so uh, yeah. I believe we're live. Can someone go to the stream and just check if the voice is heard, if the if the image is there and everything. And let's just please talk in AMA questions because it's actually gonna make it easier for me to manage it, okay? So yeah, I believe that that's all. Um, so I believe we're all set. And then we can start from here. So yeah, hopefully everyone is doing great. And um, good morning indeed. Good evening, good afternoon. Let me actually just gonna check if the bot, the giveaway bot is here. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna just say Oh, okay, but it's here. It's a different way. I actually forgot how to how to use the giveaway bot. It's a G start, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to actually open the DMs and stuff as I'm streaming. So basically, is it G start? Yeah, G start. So yeah, let's just do a quick one. Um, so let's just do it 30 seconds. Okay. So at the beginning we have just thousand TFL giveaway. Hey guys, please don't spam with the G create. You can do that as it's just by me, and uh, the the team can do that. So just go here. So I'm gonna actually just delete all the spam. Uh, so yeah, just gonna go and click on the last message in AMA questions. If you're listening, if you're on the YouTube, and suddenly basically just checking the the YouTube channel and you want to kind of learn more, just go to the file and channel and you, you will see, oh, actually, oh, that's already finished. And we're just uh, basically you won and we're going to be doing the, the another giveaway as well later. So stay tuned. And let's get the sort of with the questions that, uh, so for people who are maybe listening on the YouTube or first time here, we're always going to the in our Discord and just gonna check in the AMA questions and then answering all the questions that you guys have. And uh, that's how it goes. And the Marx is, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right or wrong, uh, but uh, as I have stated multiple times, I'm bad at the pronunciations. Uh, Marx is awesome. Uh, so uh, as I see, I pronounced it right. Glad to hear that. And uh, he has, or she has, uh, 10 really big questions, which, uh, as he or she said, actually, she had, she or he had even more. Uh, so let's actually get started and just see what we have in here. When the next team challenge, it, it was promised for the week, and uh, it's because of the delay and what the next challenge was linked to the start of the play to work. So yeah, team challenge was coming this week, and we were having some kind of ideas what it should have been. Uh, basically, it should have started today as the play to earn as well. But uh, um, uh, yeah, it was like just basically about the uh, new mini game. But uh, um, right now we have this, um, I believe we're gonna be adding the new, uh, the, uh, on Monday or Tuesday, we're gonna be adding another um, challenge. They're gonna be, I believe, on the, uh, on the fishing or shooting related studs. So basically team challenge where people compete how many kilos uh, totally the team teams catch the fish and so on uh, and also we have really really fun and interesting community com contest coming I believe maybe we're gonna announce that even tomorrow maybe uh, or on the Monday and uh, I believe they're gonna be fun as well 
with really good prices. When can we expect the P2E formulas? So the f about the formulas is that we, so um, before several days uh, of the play to to launch, we're going to be giving more updated formulas, but still we're not going to be giving all the information that you guys will need to figure out the exact number of reward that you will get. So some stuff will be black, black box, so you won't be able to kind of get understand everything because like it's basically because of the purpose of the testing because we'll have to test and basically change and tune some numbers so we're gonna be leaving that uh, private but you're gonna be getting the understanding of uh, more more detailed stuff as well how will be the big b currency marketplace work will listing be done either uh the first all but the where you can use their uh, currency the game is great so yeah, basically the main currency, the how it's gonna work is that if you use the FL, you're gonna be having no ro um, market um, fee basically. But if you use SOL, you're gonna be having the market fee. So we're gonna be incentivizing to use the FL. But also let's say if you list on the SOL, and let's say you have, um, uh, basically if you listen to DFL and you have SOL, you want to buy that, what we're gonna be doing is that, uh, I believe that's gonna be coming later, but what we're gonna do is that, it will automatically convert your Solana to DFL and buy in DFL, but in a single transaction. So let's say if you want to have, if you want to buy NFT that is listed on our marketplace, and you have Sol, you will be able to buy it directly, but uh, it will just automatically convert to DFL and buy that way, which actually helps DFL price as well, and that's gonna be good as well. Uh, I pay one Sol to buy five uh, k five k DFL item with the exchange done by the game for convenience. Uh, yeah, basically, I believe that's, that's the question I answered. Um, I'm not really sure if, if and also, let me actually, I'm going to open, if I, anyone can open the YouTube chat as well and uh, see if someone is asking something there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to check the lecture as well. Uh, any idea? Oh, for lending and borrowing, how will the process work exactly? Each person set up the terms they want or there will be some pre establishing terms with Will the NFT remain in escrow? Uh, will it be landing collateralized? So yeah, basically, how to prevent default from borrower. So yeah, basically how it's gonna work is that you lock your NFT in a smart contract in escrow. And uh, basically you said, say that I want to rent my NFT and there will be two different ways. I'm not sure we're gonna, which we're gonna we implement the first one, but like there will be two different ways uh, going into summer. The one is that you said that per day, per 24 hours, I'm, I want this amount of DFL, let's say 100 DFL per day uh, to be basically given to me uh, per one day, basically that this guy uh, has my NFT. And the other thing is that, uh, for example, you're gonna be setting that for number of the usages. So for example, the for five, for per gameplay that you use, for example, and you earn five DFL, I want the, uh, 25% of the commission from that. So for example, if you earn 100 DFL, I want to take the 20 DFL from that as a passive income. So there will be two different ways for that. Um, so we're gonna be, I believe, kind of making the vote with you guys and you can get hear, hear your thoughts as we get closer to that. As I, I believe like you should be the ones who decide which one you want first and then the another one, or, or if you have another idea about that as well. Um, so yeah, also it's not like, it won't be collateralized. It's, it's different idea totally. I believe we're gonna be going the way that I, I, I just said. And there won't be no defaults or anything because like that's how it's gonna work. And it, uh, uh, as soon as the time uh, period is gone, it uh, will be automatically returned to the owners. So, like the borrower won't be able to do anything with the NFT. Any idea how DeFi NFT will work and when their minting will happen? Uh, you mean like the DeFi, like you just kind of to get more increases on the APY and stuff like that. If you mean that, uh, as as you know, we don't have our own existing protocols, basically swap, lending and borrowing and stuff like that. So we're running on top of already existing ones. Uh, and because of that, uh, we, we're not going to be giving them extra. extra as, uh, if it was our own, then we're going to be giving extra yield and stuff like that. But because of that, we're going to be actually having DeFi NFTs that will be the DeFi battle pass. So we're gonna be having like different quests uh, for different times per week. So for example, uh, this week in uh, your DeFi uh, battle pass, you have swap 10 times, and then you have, for example, yield farm those tokens and so on. 
and um, those NFTs will be, I believe, coming uh, once the play to earn is fully established because the play to earn is like the full, um, like it's like the main concern of ours right now. But yeah, they're gonna be. Also, we are also in a really good talk with Serum and the Radium and other protocols as well. And I believe we're gonna be making some fun things uh, with them as well, with their NFTs and with their protocols as well. How will the cost of leveling up NFTs at the scale? How much more expensive? So yeah, it's really basically um, some of the same uh, scaling formula as uh, as for the NFTs. Uh, but uh, uh, so basically to balance the number of that you gain with the number that you pay for that. So it will be mainly like the exact same formula or slightly different with the tuning numbers, uh, with just so several con constant numbers. Uh, level la leveling up will take some time. Will it be same for low level? No, uh, actually, it, uh, whenever it's basically the formula of the how much time you should wait before uh, you can claim your NFT, basically level up your NFT. It will be basically based on the level that you're leveling up to. So if it's like from if you're leveling from one to two, it might be just uh, let's say ten minutes. But if you level from ninety nine to one hundred, it might be several days. Governance coming in Q2 as per timeline. Any idea how it will be structured? So uh, I believe like we might even move the governance to Q3 or even Q4, and I'm gonna explain why. So we can actually really easily implement the governance the, the way that other, other protocols have, like just have the Discord w voting and just the talk with the, the NFT holders and then just do some stuff with that. But I believe that's not really true governance and just it's not really governance, right? And we don't want to just do it in a bad way. So if we do it in Q2, that's how it's gonna work. Like you're gonna be setting, for example, if you ha if you're in Aurora, if you're in different kind of monkey DAO and stuff like that, that's basically how it works. And we might be setting that actually for the uh, for for the governance and with like the other other platforms they're gonna be having DAO votings and everything. For example, how Serum does and stuff like that. Or we might wait uh, the, till the uh, later half of this year and set up with like more automata is the automized and the more decentralized ways. Uh, so let's see which way we go. It depends on several things like the community as well. It depends like on the on the next goal that we have. But uh, yeah, if we set up in the Q2, that's how we're gonna work. Uh, what will be the incentives for the DAO? Yeah, basically it will be like we're gonna be setting the the fees that we generate from the different royals and stuff that will be managed from the DAO and like the game development and everything can be determined that way. Uh, betting in, uh, is coming in Q2 also, how will that work? So yeah, betting is the different thing. So uh, it's not like the betting, uh, the way that um, like the, you, you won't bet on the football, for example, like just not the like the basketball and stuff like that. The betting will be, for example, the, the first way that we're gonna implement that, it will gonna be uh, the prisoner's dilemma stuff. For example, you compete with the uh, other person and you just basically bet 10 DFL each and you just basically try to win both, uh, that's how it's gonna work. And then we might, what we might do is like the racing. So for example, you race your NFTs, uh, for example, the dog racing or cat racing and stuff like that. And uh, also that's the way how it might work. But the first one might be the prisoner's dilemma. We have some kind of one of our great community members uh, had some idea about that, provided several ideas about that, and uh, we're gonna be trying to implement that as soon as the plate one is uh, out. With the more seed being planned, can we have unplanned number of total gen zeros? Uh, yeah, I believe we can check that. Like uh, Mikasa can check that number. Uh, I don't really have the exact number right now. I'm not gonna lie, but I believe it's uh, nearly twenty-one thousand. I mean, like the total Gen Zeros minted. So there are uh, some like 1,500 Gen Zeros left to mint, or maybe maybe less. When tipping featured on Discord, so yeah, tipping feature, I actually have not found a good feature, uh, I mean like good bot for the tipping, to be honest. Like none of them have really great user interface or user experience, and I'm not really sure in the security of those. Uh, so uh, the way how we're gonna work, uh, I believe, <laughs> I'm s I keep saying those, but uh, as actually we're adding a lot of new developers as well. And as, as we scale the team more and we have some more free dev resource, uh, I believe we're gonna be, uh, so like the Discord bots are like the least, less, least priority right now for us because of different reasons. 
but as soon as we have those kind of stuff, uh, the resource, uh, we're going to be definitely building those. What kind of partnerships are we expecting to have once P2E launches? So we actually are in talks with several brands and mainly like, uh, like the, the way how it goes, once you have something live, like the product is live, you have the people you're using that, that's when the partnerships go, are going way smoother and easier. Uh, and uh, so we're pretty much waiting on that uh, on that part to to kind of go and just show them, hey, we have 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 daily active users, and these people are doing this, 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 and uh, I believe it's going to be great for you, not only just for us. And so we're waiting for that mainly. How are you doing the Good Friday? Uh, doing well, thanks. Are you baking some cakes? <laughs> I, I do. How's the network is better currently, the P2E better next week? So we actually had a, so for the people who haven't checked the messages yet, so we had a talk with this Solana team, this one Labs team. I really love those guys and uh, they, those are, people are great. And uh, we had a talk with uh, like the problem with botting issue, how can we help, how they can do some stuff. And uh, they do have really good time, like the roadmap for that, like the quick update. And also they have some kind of gas, kind of gas style kind of things they want to implement for the different smart contracts. So how are you going to work? For example, you want to mint the NFT, right? And everyone is botting that mint and candy machine and trying to get the NFT mint. And that's when the Solana network fails and congests. So how are you going to work this uh, NFT gas is that you will have not just to kind of bot the entire network, but you will be basically competing with other people who are also trying to mint and basically pay the fee for that. So they're going to be actually good for the entire Solana blockchain. And also it will be just competing not, not with everyone for the fees, but actually they're competing with the people who are minting like you. So like you will be betting the fee that other people are also betting. So it's basically the Ethereum kind of style, but the, basically based on one smart contract and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you're going to be solving well. But the, the thing is that the timeline is um, something like uh, they have late summer. So it's not like they're going to be coming in two weeks, right? So because of that, we're trying to kind of move the major stuff on AWS for now. And if the, in the future it makes sense, we're going to be coming back to the DeFi stuff as well. I mean, like the centralized way of the play to work. Uh, and uh, the, the play to earn beta is not the next week. And I believe the, uh, we're going to be giving the exact number, uh, the approximate timeline for that on Monday. So yeah, stay tuned for Monday. I know there are some delays in the schedule, but uh, do you still de uh, develop lands? Uh, yeah, actually we have some kind of a land uh, idea and how it might work. And the land stuff, I believe, um, will be like not in Q2. I believe we should move that in Q3, but uh, it will be like late summer, like the August might be. When will be the first Discord giveaway for holders? Oh, uh, actually, like, we're going to be moving the daily giveaways from the general chat to the holders, actually, as well. So uh, we're going to be having the um, the daily giveaways for the holders as well, indeed. Happy Easter. Oh, yeah, actually, I forgot about that as well. And um, happy Easter, to indeed, everyone. Um, enjoy. Like, some people just don't care about that. Uh, but uh, I do really love that as well. So. Happy Easter, everyone, and uh, have fun, and uh, don't drink too much as well. Can you please explain how rent to breed, how rent to breed will work? So yeah, we don't have rent to breed uh, coming yet. So th this rent is totally different. Like as I said, it's basically just to play in the earn rent. But uh, I believe like later we can might even add the rent to breed. But, like I, I don't really like the rent to breed to be honest at this point. Uh, but uh, yeah, if it will make sense, we might add that. But for now, it's not coming. A different question regarding energy cooldown. Will base two energy with no leftovers will replenish in a day? Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, the more level you have the attribute about the energy, the more energy you have, plus the energy restoration rate is better as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, they ha but the exact numbers will be given. Like it's not that in, in just like, it's, it's not about that it will be in 24 hours restored fully. It might be 19, it might be 30, it might be different numbers. What are the strategies plans to combat LP draining? Um, everyone just swapping out their earned gold constantly. Uh, so, and now that's the second question as well. Apart from revenue brought 
uh, in from new users a hint upon the mix uh, are there any plans to bring the revenue from external resources as well yeah so the first of all the question uh, to answer that because of that we have multiple multiple different ways to use your gold earnings in, in, inside the game as well like upgrading repairing the skins customizations renaming and all those stuff will be basically just for those activities and that's uh should not be underestimated for sure and uh, uh i believe that's going to be actually having a really really good incentive to keep the gold inside the uh inside the game because like they also breathing and uh repairing uh, like crafting and creating new nfts for new users also going to be acquiring gold so I believe that's going to be the reason uh apart from the revenue uh, so yeah uh, so indeed uh uh, you also need to have so like how it works is that you should if you want to make a sustainable game it should be fun first and uh, because of that I believe the game is coming becoming more and more fun and I, I actually we have some players who are playing the game just not to earn some money but actually just to play the game as well just to interact with the music DeFi and, uh, and people so like if you have those kind of people who are not here just for the money that's already a great thing and also they if they pay some money for the skins and just the visual stuff as well basically just for just to be better just to have some better stuff as well those uh, this is the external income that is really really important for the games actually so people who are donating money like donating in some basic brackets donating the money to the game just to be because they like that that's the way how games actually work right in the real games like people are just buying the skins people are just buying the uh some kind of different uh basically beautiful things just they because they like that i believe that we're going to be having those people as well as more time goes and also uh, the thing is that with all the DeFi activities that we have like the referral fees uh the swapping fees and all those stuff uh they're going to be actually I guess um be an external source as well of the income like the royalties and uh like everything basically will be working that way also we have some like the partnerships coming in the, uh with the, like a lot of new projects as well uh, and uh, all those activities are going to be basically being the revenue for default and so it's not just like default and it's just the game it's actually we're not we shouldn't forget default and is a DeFi uh, as well so uh that's actually the good income as well uh, i hope the team and you're doing great i uh, appreciate that uh, i have more personal questions suppose we move a, a few years into the future we already have four gen the gen have a 4 gen and a t and everything is going well how do you feel about the metaverse are you a fan let's give an example of the virtual glasses and all the accessories being available for to the population would you like the what do you like to move the direction oh so yeah i mean like you basically just asking them what's my opinion about the like the metaverse in total and the virtual reality and the augmented reality and everything right so i do believe that metaverse is great concept and i believe that gonna be gonna be the next big thing for sure but i believe that the metaverse as, as people are imagining right now it's not not reality and they are just basically uh, lying to themselves uh, because of the that metaverse where you have like ready player one kind of experience where you live in the metaverse where you work in the metaverse is so far far away People are just don't under understanding that. So if you see the project that that is actually building the metaverse where you will be living and you will be working and having fun, just just run because like they are the scam. Because like it's not possible that it's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, so like if they are saying that they're gonna be happening in 15 years and they're preparing for that and they're building uh, like they have like 20 year roadmap maybe, but uh, if they just saying that it's gonna be in three four years, that's basically impossible. Uh, basically, I've been involved in this augmented and virtual reality industry for basically something like um, eight years already. And even like in 2014, 15, like when a year was like super and the VR was becoming super, super popular, like everyone is ex was expecting that in 2017, we were going to be working and using a AR glass and a VR glass all the time. But uh, at the end of the day, the tech is not there at, at all. Like you, you, you can't really do the complex computations. You can actually have really great user experience and stuff. Because it's basically early. I really like the tech, but uh, we're super early for that. But uh, a a as the time goes, let's say in 30 years, if like in 40 years we have the tech ready, if we have all the content ready and everything is basically ready for that, I do believe that the metaverse will be a big thing as people always try to escape from the rea reality and stuff like that. 
so uh, 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 in to kind of to have a better life, to have the, to do some stuff that they could not do right right now in their real lives and so on. But uh, I'm not really a big fan of that because uh, I do believe that the kind of real life experiences are way superior than the the virtual virtual ones. But about the default and about the VR and ARs, um, as I said, I don't really see that coming anytime soon, like that kind of experience. And so because of that, I don't see that default and will need any kind of integrations with that VR or AR because it, the experience will be really bad. Not because we, that we do bad, but because the VR and AR is kind of bad right now. And for the farming game, it's going to be even worse. Uh, so if they tech surprisingly if that for example there's like the huge boom and something happens revolutionary and we have an amazing products or the services on the vr and AR side uh, and if it makes sense for default and for sure we're going to be going for that but uh, for now i don't really see the see the um reason for that but uh, as i said once again i'm really big and bullish on the vr and vr and i've been working for that uh for five years hope it answers your question actually Will the DFL used uh, for naming the server? Oh, yeah, I believe that's actually was answered. Um, let's scroll down with the questions. Is it read they have two uh, DFL Brooklyn or Ra win, but also read if they don't win. <laughs> yeah, actually, like it's like, like lose lose situation. What what did bot say? You took longer than two minutes to respond your wake fishing has been cancelled what, what does the bot mean i believe it, it might be the razis uh, who is <laughs> playing with me but uh yeah uh, let's see that and the new leaks you can share with us uh yes so we have an exciting thing coming actually, which is called DFL lore, which gonna be, we it's gonna be really exciting because like, we're gonna be coming up with all the lore, how everything started, was is the what is the uh, the file and who live on the file and island, wh how everything started, and like we're gonna be actually creating the manga or comics kind of style as well, and which gonna be coming monthly, the new chapters. And uh, we have really great designers already lined up for that. And I'm so super excited about that, uh, as I can't wait for that to kind of share with uh, the stuff that we're going to be having. I believe we're going to be announcing the lore that we're going to be having lore on Monday also. But uh, uh, we have an amazing people working on that. Uh, and also the merch. The merch is also coming. And uh, so we're, I, I, I'm not going to lie with you. So we have the idea, uh, but it's kind of hard to do the logistic part about that that if you lock your NFT for uh, one year, I know it's big time, but if you want to play the game, I believe it makes sense. And you'll be able to play the game with the NFT and do all the, the renting and everything, uh, but you won't be able to sell that for one year. And you will get your NFT related merch. Like if, if you have like dog number three, you're gonna get your dog number three NFT uh, uh, branded uh, shirt hoodie and uh, the cap and basically the, the swag for y personalized your nft with the name that you re rename your dog for example so like we are kind of creating that i believe that's going to be really huge thing and uh we have like several good con connections with great cloth um, manufacturers and uh, the printers and stuff uh so it's kind of great idea it's kind of really hard to kind of create in, in complex to create with all the customizations, like because there are 22,000 Gen 0 NFTs, right? So it's kind of hard, but uh, I believe if we manage to do that, I believe that's going to be really huge thing. And also, uh, part of that, we have like multiple things uh, lined up, uh, like on the marketing side. We're actually starting the we actually started the Facebook and Instagram and um, marketing cap campaigns as well. And I believe we're going to be stepping up our um, YouTube and uh, Instagram accounts. And maybe you're going to be also getting on the Reddit uh, as well actively. And so, yeah, many things coming, really exciting things coming. Uh, I believe we're going to be scaling the team on the business dev side as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Any updates on how the and NFTs will work or what their usage is? Uh, what do you mean? Mm. 
I know so we don't need to have our NFT stake, but uh, would there be the plan to allow the other project NFT that allow staking to do so in separate marketplace environment? For them, oh yeah. So basically, we have that in the pipeline. To be honest, but like it's so hard to kind of find time for that. So uh, we are having the kind of staking, uh, basically, building, where you will be able to stake all the other different NFT projects, NFTs from default and as well, and just basically track those numbers for example you will be able to take the marinade finance for example dagots and basically uh, all different stuff directly from the Fallon as well but uh yeah we should basically find the time for that horse racing uh, nft racing is so lead uh, yeah it's kind of kind of kind of fun as well but now you have the fl token staking and what about the spinning the reward pool with gen zero holders for the flexible pool, so nah, I don't really believe that's kind of a really good way because uh, the the NFT holders will be able to earn the uh, FL and other currencies, uh, the gold as well with the NFT. So I, I don't really see that the income should be split to the to holders as well, or like the the FL. How close are we having more games similar to memory game? Uh, I excel at those type of games. So I believe like the, uh, we are actually thriving more to create more 3D style games. We might create a 3D memory game, but uh, um, not really the, the game uh, that way. But uh, yeah, to be, so right now we don't have any, any lined up right now, but I believe it's gonna be memory games as well, but in 3D uh, where you basically move some some uh, objects in a given way or that you should remember and so on. Is there any Easter egg today? Uh, well, today we have, uh, later today, we're going to be having this rena renaming website coming. And also, uh, okay, there is an Easter egg. Actually, one of our community members, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, guys. But there is an Easter egg. It's kind of maybe even hard to find, but uh, yeah, there is an Easter egg. But it's kind of rena renaming website related, so to give a clue. Can we can we swap our NFT items on different Gen Zero NFTs? Let's say I have Gen Zero common holders. Um, so yeah, I believe it, you will be able to do that, but uh, the generation zero attributes uh, will be basically wasted, and your NFT will be Gen Three then. So it's like uh, not really good thing to do. I believe. Uh, give, me, give me a sec, guys. I'm gonna just going to quickly take a note on something that I just remembered randomly. Um, okay. Um, uh, when Gen 1 NFTs only come from Gen 0s, uh, will there be Gen 1 seeds eventually? No, no. You'll be able to basically craft... Uh, Gen 1 NFTs with Gen 0 NFTs. Uh, there is no seeds or anything. Uh, we just cropped. Can we have contribute piggy bank, something like that for the project? That amount can be burned or can be used for daily giveaway. Uh, yes, I believe. Um, so actually, at the beginning, like I believe in the November or October, we had the idea to create a donation building where you just go and donate whatever you want, how much you ever the one, and you leave the note as well. Like, I'm donating 10,000 DFL and uh, please uh, enjoy and just have a great dinner with this money. Maybe I would be happy with the note. But uh, yes, uh, we had that idea. It basically just got delayed because like we had some more important stuff to do. But uh, yes, uh, this the donation contribution bank can be a really good idea. How old are you? Uh, but that's, that's a private information, but I'm going to give you the range. I'm basically from 18 to 40. Uh, something like that. Uh, indeed, Th that's confirmed. Yeah, I'm a male as well, um, so yeah, I confirmed those information. Someone said 34. Raza, is you think I'm 34? Come on, man, I'm not. I'm not that old yet. Uh, bonus question: Team is around 25 at the moment. How many uh, are you planning to hire? So um, it depends. Uh, so I believe we're going to be scaling more on the marketing side as well. Uh, and um, 
I believe once we set the DAO, I believe we're gonna be going for community leaders as well to have to manage the DAO because like I, I wish I had so like 40 or 50 hours per day to do the marketing as well as the the community management and team leading and everything. But uh, the, my resource is also kind of limited, so I believe we're gonna be scaling the team on that side. Um, it will take some time to kind of explain everything how everything works. Even though there people might be uh, involved in crypto previously, it's kind of really hard to kind of give all the information, the the project related information, so they kind of behave the way that you would. But uh, uh, yes, we have the the ideas for that, and also um, it depends. Uh, we might even do the next round of the raise, but with the equity. So like not to talking about, we might actually uh, raise some more money with the equity and if, to scale the team, to scale the the marketing, everything. And if we do that, I believe the, the hiring will be more aggressive. If we want to do that, uh, the hiring will be less aggressive, more like just several people, maybe per quarter. Many similar exchanges are investing in DeFi. Over the next two years, DeFi will be further increased the presence. The name of the game is DeFi, and what strategy will you implement to make it stand out with DeFi more than P2E? Yeah, I do believe like once the P2E is kind of implemented really actively, uh, the like we're gonna be actually splitting the team into different three different things. The one gonna be the team who works on the play to one side. The second gonna be the player, uh, the team who works on DeFi side. The third gonna be the team who works on the NFT and the integration side. And uh, basically, we're gonna be all the team gonna members gonna have their own marketing, business developer, the tech developers, and everyone. So like some of the people right now gonna be kind of translated from one. They might become like team leads like me, but they too, they will be gonna be leading DeFi team. Uh, so I'm gonna be leading the, the like the um, the play to earn team, and I'm gonna be just the guy who leads the team leads, I guess. But uh, so yeah, we have the kind of idea to restructure the company that way. But yes, we have the uh, good good things to kind of focus on the DeFi as well. I believe like with more integrations, like. Ev like, to be honest, like all Solana projects want to Im be implementing DeFi and like every single one of them, it's basically the matter of the time. So we're gonna be going that way uh, once we have the team fully focused on DeFi and implementing all of them in DeFi and like the major ones. Um, which is okay. Oh yeah, thanks, Ra, for the explanation. It makes sense. Who is the man in the picture you sent to the holder channel? Um. Uh, well, the, the the man in the other other channel is the is the guy uh, who's gonna be farmer. So the farmer and uh, the, it's gonna be the guy also for the lore. Also, it's gonna be the guy for the the trailer that we are shooting right now for the game, and uh, it's gonna be kind of really interesting person. You know, maybe NPC if in the future. I would buy DFL manga. So yeah, I believe it's gonna be like for the holders. Like if you're a holder, you just basically have a pass for free, or basically it might be like just hundred DFL per chapter or like something like that. So we're gonna be thinking about that as well. Can DFL and be expanded up on to different chains? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm not sure about the Cardano right now because like, uh, but uh, uh, it, it can be in the future if it makes sense. But like we have, we do have several options like the Avalanche, Polygon, Near, uh, and Terra are the ones that we are talking to, and we're gonna be choosing the one afterwards. Um, I locked my NFTs for ten years. If you send me the real dog and Darth Vader helm, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe they're gonna be like we send the real animals as well, like the pets. <laughs> Imagine you lock your cow and we just basically transport. Airdrop, but we literally airdrop your you the cow. It, it can't be fun. <laughs> Will it count on people who already have their DFL locked? No, uh, it won't be related to the DFL token lo uh, lock. It will be basically related to the NFT lock. Can it be same names, for example, two NFTs to the owners with the uh, same names. Uh, so yeah, basically uh, the same names can be done. Uh, because uh, also it has like different uh, number at the end, like let's say number one. But let's say if you have number one um, dog and not, not number one uh, cat, for example, you you still can name like uh, Erwin number one and Erwin number one. There can be two different ones, but visually you can tell that it, it is dog. So it's gonna be also have the metadata that it, it says it is a dog. So uh, that's a thing. If I buy an NFT with special name, may I change uh, to the name? It, you can change any time. So it's basically you can change whenever you wish. So if you buy an NFT with a specific name, you will be able to change that as well, um, the way you wish. 
I think the really important is to have more achievements. Uh, yes, I do believe that as well. Yes, like the minor tycoon as well is a good example for that. Uh, and I believe like we the, the more achievements like with the battle pass and like new uh, games coming, I believe that gonna be also reality. How's rarity gonna work well after we combine our NFT attributes? So it's gonna be uh, uh, remastered. So we're gonna be after you basically we, every single day we're gonna be snapshotting what NFTs exist right now and uh, rebasing the NFT rarity that way. Erwin 40 confirmed. <laughs> Fortunately enough, I'm uh, younger than 40 and also not 30 plus as well. Actually, I, I guess I narrowed down like my 18 for to 40 range, but uh, yeah, I'm 30 minus to be honest. 39.5, 27, 26.5, 36. He can't be my. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Any important dates or updates that I need to know? Uh, good morning, sir. Um, I believe like um, the Monday uh, is the one that you should be looking for for different reasons. But um, but yeah, if Erwin is below 40, maybe will is above 50, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm for sure below 40, but uh, I cannot really tell about the, really, he can be like, he can be like 60 as well, like who knows. Another word for air dropping clothes animals when locking into your NFTs, that's amazing. <laughs> I appreciate that. Team rewards for watering competition soon. Uh, I believe that's already distributed as well. What's the next competition? What it does? Uh, so yeah, I believe I also already answered this question at the beginning. But uh, uh, yeah, XP will be gone for sure. Uh, I believe like the next challenge because like play to earn is uh, not coming in several days. I believe it will be related on how much ki kilograms of the fish the team catches or how much um, uh, score the team gets in total. Air dropping a cow makes me want a UFO to try to catch the default like we did with Santa. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, any plans to implement in-game missions that pay out the FL or gold? Uh, yeah. So actually, uh, that's basically uh, the battle pass is the way for that actually. But uh, we might have uh, some several free to do missions as well you know, for the FL exchange and gold exchange. I was correct about the rename. How you include a language full to write? Now you like can we also have a way to report? Yes. So for now, like we don't ha uh, as we're gonna launch it today, it's basically really fast pace. Uh, we won't have like the report button um, way, but you feel free to report that in in our chat uh, in Discord. I believe we're gonna be creating this separate channel for the reporting as well. Uh, so we have like the basic. So we decided to only filter English words because. As we can name like 20 different languages uh, to filter the bad words, some of the words were like um, filtered like if you if you were naming like the cat, uh, God, uh, I believe like the other words were uh, was the what what it was it was arrow and stuff like that. Those were the bad words in different different languages. So because of that, we just basically re removed uh, all of the languages because like some really normal words were included because like for example on Portuguese, it uh, in some kind of dialect of Portuguese, it meant something bad. So we kind of went with only English one, and uh, let's see how it performs. And if we decide to change some stuff, we're gonna be changing it that. So for example, let's say you name yourself like really bad way that we don't really like, and uh, we have to change that. The, the the thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna be refunding you thousand DFL. We're gonna be giving you back that. And also, we're gonna be uh, returning the NFT to the original name. And uh, afterwards, uh, basically, we're gonna be uh, just saying that uh, changing the rules. So that's how we're gonna work. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of guesses about the age, but I, I don't. I'm not gonna say if there was the right number. Let's do a giveaway for guessing my age. Uh, once I get stocks, once I get get stocks, I believe that let's do that with a big, big, big price. Uh, is there any difference between a dog, cat, and chicken? And dog, dog. I'm talking about the rewards. Uh, mainly no. 
I'm a 69 year old. Yes, once I'm gonna be 69 year old, I'm gonna be coming back to the Discord and just gonna saying psych. Office location too. Uh, well, that's super hard, but uh, that's in the Paradise Island. Uh, so let's do a giveaway, guys. I believe it's the, the time for the giveaway. So I'm gonna make sure to stopping the um, AMA questions right now. I'm like not the AMA questions. I'm gonna be stopping the um, what it's called the Farmer Soul uh, live stream on the YouTube, as we are all set. And everyone who, who was listening on the YouTube, thanks a lot. Uh, and I, I was not able to read the question, uh, the, the the questions you might have in the the live stream channel. I believe we, I'm going to be making some changes uh, the next week and just check how we're going to work and uh, ma make even better live stream experience for you guys. But uh, thanks for tuning in and make sure you basically come into uh, come into our uh, Discord and just enjoy there. So thanks for tuning in, uh, you, the YouTubers uh, and. Um, We'll meet you soon.